Hello and welcome back to another video on stream. This is a layout update number 17. So let's get right into the video. So I have a decent amount of progress that has happened within the past month or so that there's not been a layout update. So some of the main areas have really happened in this town area. So recently I have gotten this Arby's Menards building. It's really nice, decent sized building. And it really fills up some of the area in the city that was left empty. Um, I still need to get the power for it and I need to finish up like the drive through and everything. And then up here where this car is, I've actually done a little bit of road work. So this previously, I believe the road was here, but I have added all of this grass in on each side of the road and between the tracks to give it a more finished look. And then I've added this crossing, which is just out of cardboard that's painted black to what will eventually match the road. Um, I think it looks decent. I just have this car here to make it look a bit better for now. Another big part that has really changed is by the train station here. So I have started actually extending the deck for the train station here because it's very small, maybe about seven inches wide at tops so it's not very realistic for what i'm trying to model like a decent sized train station so i've just been cutting up some wood and i plan on extending it to about here which adds on another about a foot or so and then i have actually used black paint to create a parking lot for the train station here and i've created another small parking lot here and i've also added some grass here behind this building uh, eventually that's going to be covered with some ballast, especially here in this crack between the edge of this building and the track. And once I get the ballast in here, which will be after I finish this, every, this area will be pretty good looking, I think. Looking a little bit lower, I have started to ballast the track here. This is all done and finished ballast. I haven't done this yet because I still need to get plaster cloth for the edge of this foam here. But over here, it is a lot more finished. I have done all of the track and, and ballast, and I've ballast this side. And then I put some little greenery here and I'm eventually gonna do over here. But this was just like a test area to see how it would come out gluing the ballast onto the foam like that. And I think it came out pretty well, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of the layout. Uh, considering just as how much extra ballast it's using and ballast is not cheap, so. Another big thing that has happened is that I've actually redone this whole back half of the inner loop, with, um, and I made it bigger. Um, I added in a couple of straight sections back here to make it go back to the back of the layout further because there was probably about a foot gap back here and I didn't like the way that looked, so I pushed it back. I added about 20, 25 inches in total length of the track, which makes a pretty good difference. And uh, it makes the tr two tracks run alongside each other a little bit cooler. And also to the left of this, I have some new train cars. These are Atlas uh, double stack cars. I don't exactly remember what type, but I bought them at a train fair about two weeks ago. It is the um, C, D, and E car set. I don't have the A and B car set. Um, I still need to get that. So what I did was, so that way I could still use these, is I just hooked up an MTH coupler from a train car I wasn't using. So this pin just kind of comes on out. I'm not gonna do that because it's kind of hard to but this truck is just off of an old mth car i don't use anymore and then over here on this side of the layout i have painted the road to look like asphalt and i've made some driveways and i put in some of the cars i had and i've also done it down to the edge of the layout here so it's looking pretty good right now um, so this area really just needs some scenery and maybe a couple more houses in the back and it'll be looking pretty good.
So the last major change that has happened to the layout recently is this foam here, which is going to be a lake. So it's just a piece of foam that I've been carving out. I plan on using this section here to kind of like slope it down. And then I'll use plaster cloth or anything. I'm going to make it into a lake, fill it with that Woodland Scenics water stuff. And just have like a little lake here in this empty area. So that is basically it for today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, there's been quite a bit of layout progress. So, but uh, I thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.